Tim, in this video segment, we are talking about something really important. Many things changed for all of us in the aftermath of September 11th, 2001. Maritime exclusion zones and enforcement of these zones have grown into critical components of our national security. And of course, for the safety of you and your passengers. Not only do people live, work, and interact in our cities and on our streets, but you also encounter numerous people in situations while working, living, or recreating on our national ports and waterways. That's right, and during these encounters, you might even see something that indicate a terrorist activity is being planned or initiated. Knowing and obeying the rules of exclusion zones will help keep you safe, and knowing how to recognize and respond to terrorism warning signs could enable you to prevent the next act of terrorism. The Maritime Exclusion Zone is an area established by a sanctioning body to prohibit specific activities in certain designated areas. So Tim, what are they generally used for? Well Tina, generally the purpose of these restricted Maritime Exclusion Zones is to keep individuals or groups from gaining access in order to protect the interests and safety of what's inside the area. Those entering an Exclusion Zone face the possibility of arrest, fine, imprisonment, personal injury, or even the use of deadly force. It is important to recognize and steer clear of exclusion zones. How am I gonna know what an exclusion zone looks like? Well, Tina, that's another good question. You will find that exclusion zones may be clearly marked and done so in various forms. You may see them in the form of buoys and markers, ropes, signs and markings, lights, and lighted buoys. It is in your best interest to simply turn away and stay away. Okay, Tina, up here on our starboard side, you can see we're coming up on a very clearly marked exclusion zone. It's one of those yellow zones I that you don't want to cross. Oh yeah, that looks like another police boat. Right, there's, sure. <laughs> there's a patrol boat again. We got we got navy, a strong navy presence. So 24/7, um, they're patrolling this area and just stay clear. What kind of exclusion zones might I encounter, and why are they there? Well, Tina, there are many types of exclusion zones, and many more reasons they are there. For example, there's naval vessel exclusion zones, military exclusion zones commercial vessel exclusion zones. There are also civilian exclusion zones called facilities exclusion zones. These zones are often set up around facilities located on or near the water and include commercial port operations, petroleum facilities, nuclear power facilities, power plants, and other critical waterfront facilities. Next on the list are called structural exclusion zones. Okay, let me guess. Structural exclusion zones will be found around large concrete buildings on the water like dams. Right, you nailed it again. You will find these zones around all sorts of things, but the main ones are dams, bridges, spillways, flood control structures, shipping channels, and waterfalls. As you continue on in your new boat, you may also find what is called a public exclusion zone. These zones are clearly marked and can be found around a public bathing beach or swimming area. Oh, I've actually seen those before, but I never knew the technical name for them. They just look like buoys and ropes, but it was very clear that I should stay away. Right, well then they serve their purpose. Our last type of exclusion zone is called the special event exclusion zone. During some special events, such as 4th of July fireworks displays on or near the water, boat races, water skiing shows, and competitions, or any other special events may require the use of exclusion zones. Operating your vessel during special events can be tricky because of the amount of traffic on the water. Pay very close attention to exclusion zones that may exist. The simulator here has us outside of the Norfolk Naval Shipyard. Now you can see up to our starboard side here, we're coming up to an exclusion zone around a, a military vessel. Wow, right. that really is. So right. I see a yellow ring and a red ring. Tell me about That's that. That's right, well the yellow ring is sometimes referred to as a range ring. Now if you go inside of that, you are given a verbal warning. Okay. Don't go inside of this ring. That doesn't seem too severe. So what happens when you go through the red one? 
Okay. They are authorized to use deadly force. They will use any means necessary to stop your boat from coming any closer, which means that they will op open fire. Best thing with exclusion zones is just stay away. Observe and avoid all exclusion zones. Violators will be perceived as a threat and will face a quick, determined, and severe response. Do not stop or anchor beneath bridges or in the channel. Expect to be boarded by law enforcement officers if you do. If you see something, say something. Keep a sharp eye out for anything that looks peculiar or out of the ordinary. Your role in helping the Coast Guard execute its wide range of missions is vital. If you observe suspicious activity in or around an exclusion zone, we urge you to call the America's Waterway Watch hotline at 877-24-WATCH and do so immediately. Or if you feel a threat is imminent, dial 911 or contact your local Coast Guard unit via VHF channel 16. This is a basic awareness video and will not substitute for getting into and understanding the rules of the road from a NASBLA approved boating safety course. Go to www.nasbla.org to find a course near you and sign up today. Until then, safe, safe boating. boating.